Oh no. Oh no, Cece, what happened to the bunk? What happened to the bunk? <laughs> what? We are going to... Well, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Fix the bunk! Yeah, we're going to fix it, but they don't know how we're going to fix it. Of course, we had to create a project for ourselves because we're just sitting around bored, right? No, we're not bored. Um, but we we're do always camping. create projects. So, we're not camping. We're living. Um, yeah. But anyways, we are going to be changing this uh, fold-out extra bunk in the girls' bunkhouse um, to suit us better. So, we'll show you how yeah, we do it. bunkhouse and it's a love school. So, here's my puzzle project. Anyways, here goes nothing. I'm Christy. I'm Jason. I'm Aubriella. And, and this is... is... And we, we are... I, I want to camp with you. you. So this is the fourth bunk in the girls' bunkhouse, um, and we can't ever use it because that little space there just doesn't give us enough room to get by. Um, so it just ends up being folded up and wasted. So we are going to change it to fit our needs. She showed you that this had an aluminum styrofoam core that had aluminum channel uh, all the way around the outside, and all this is glued together. It's a Luan and Luan. So on the end here, when I cut it, all I have was styrofoam. So I just cut me two pieces of the channel off the extra piece, dug out some of the styrofoam, inserted them, put two screws, and put them in place. Because on the end, you had these little trim pieces. And have me work to secure it to you. So to put some anchor points for them, screw back into to finish it out, make it look like it did from the factory. I had to move the hinge over. I'm not really doing anything specific, but this hinge had to be moved over. I didn't mess with moving the uh, legs around anywhere. That got damaged. <laughs> That's where we are right now. I'm going to attempt to start putting the trim back on it here real soon. Alright, so the first part is completed, um, which is to shorten the bed, put the trim back, um, and, you know, get all the stuff looking right. So it looks good. This is, obviously the legs are up, they fold down, but I'm just going to do this so I can show you. Um, so, do that. Fold that down. All right, so now, instead of a really long bed that makes it so you can't get to the bathroom, we have a shorter couch. Um, obviously, the cushion that was on top of it, I'm going to have to shorten, or we are going to shorten, um, so that it'll fit the couch, and then we'll put some pillows or whatever on the back so the girls have a nice place to sit, and then we'll have storage underneath for when we are sitting still. Over here on the left side... Once this is folded back up, sorry, I'm trying to work with one hand here. Um, we are going to put some shelves. So it's going to be like, kind of like the bottom part is um, down here. We're going to put like one shelf there and one shelf there. This way we have a little bit of extra book storage. Um, and again, we're just making use of all the space that is not used properly in our opinion for what we want um but yes so for now this part is done we have to shorten the cushion build the bookshelves and we'll continue to show you as the progress continues all right so we're on with the second part of the plan building the bookshelves jason's fitting them right now and then we got to spray paint them to match and um yeah i'll show you when that's done
Hey campers, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the like button. And hit that bell. Hit that bell.